great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Virginia Commonwealth Rams and the Villanova Wildcats. Number one is a key component to this basketball franchise. He brings them a lot with his abilities, and he'll be looking to showcase those in today's game. This kid is one of the best offensive threats in the country, baby. He fills it up from anywhere as well as dish the rock. The Wildcats will see that their offense goes through him tonight, Dick. The Wildcats are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Thirdly, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Controlling the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. And up, basket falls despite the contact. On the outside, the power forward receives and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Trying to feed the low block. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebounding ability. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. He steps up to the line. Got it from the free throw line. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He puts it in with contact and all. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. He uses the shot fake. Looking for contact. Black makes the finger roll. The shooting guard handles the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up. The point guard receives the ball. He rejects it. Pushes it up. For two, they just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. But inside. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. They go into the low block. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. He shoots from left of the circle. He nails the long-range bomb. Looking for a good shot. Down inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number two, pump fakes. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Hey, check out the mascot, baby. Is he into this or what? Judging by his reaction, I think he wishes he was playing. Well, do you think he liked that last dunk? Black 
Handles the feed. He pulls the trigger. Way off target. Gets it to fall. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Villanova have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Now trying to feed the low block. Double team now, bad angle. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Tries to get the D to bite. There's a double team waiting there. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Both teams looking to get things going here. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. For the bucket, perfectly executed. <laughs> Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Buried it. They work the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Rams have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Gets the ball and out. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They're working around the arc. Here's a double team. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. A high screen. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With the freebie. Hits the first shot. Hits the second shot. Gets the third. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from downtown. He gets it to go. Let's look at it again. Tries for two. 
Perfectly executed. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Back of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. And a slam. On the outside, way out on top. Controlling the ball. There they come with a double team to stop it. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And they get the turnover. Working it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball, scorches the net. Launches the three. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that great shot block right there. And some good movement on the offensive side. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. From three-point range, they're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Good athletic move, very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. From the top of the circle, way off target. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. From downtown, he gets the bucket. Pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Check that out. He's coming up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the players and coaches seem really confused around the bench area right now. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Ooh. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Virginia Commonwealth are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Becker comes up with it for the bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. There's a high screen. Fakes a jumper. Dickie Sibley on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Here it is. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They'll throw this one in from the side. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the perimeter and there's a lazy pass it's stolen away turnover will it turn into two the other way and the ball goes out of bounds work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And, he and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. <laughs> I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside for two. You betcha. <laughs> Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? He shoots from long range. Tickles a twine. And now there's a whistle and a foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Dick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Good job defensively. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Up and inside. Here's the three ball. Got it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Now the kick out. Ten on the shot clock. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Virginia Commonwealth have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. He unloads a three. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Open for the shot. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Bucket. They still don't score. The skip pass is picked off. On the outside. Goes up for two. It's good. And he'll kick it back outside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Shoots it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. To the live action we go. Two for one opportunity. Thinks about the shot. With a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. He can't get the bucket to fall. At the end of the first half, the Rams are up by four. Villanova coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half, Dick. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Dick start of the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. For two, and he missed. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. The center takes the feed. Looks at the three. He makes the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Got the high pick. He shoots from the angle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Moving it around the perimeter. On the inside. There's the trap. He launches the bomb. He drains it. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. To the charity strike. Gets his first. Makes the second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gets it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Look at him taunting the crowd, Dick. Now he's having too much fun. Hey, Brad, I guess he's having fun out there. The crowd obviously doesn't frighten him one bit. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. He throws it up from downtown. Poor decision there to shoot that three. That shot was definitely ill-advised. On the outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork getting to the spot. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Double team now, bad angle. Way off target. They work the perimeter. Top of the circle, goes in. Takes away the pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He shoots from right of the circle. The Wildcats have got to continue to get in the ball. They need to keep getting in the ball. It's simple. Patterson is feeling good. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He attempts the trifecta. He gets the shot to fall. Yeah. 
Kicks off the pass. Virginia Commonwealth is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Looking for the foul. And he scores despite the hack. They work it around the perimeter. The defender right on his hip, and I think... He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Drains it. forward with the ball gave it up great pressure great double team really explosive and he's going to pick up the foul and oh look at the look on his face i'll tell you what he's disgusted but so is his coach <laughs> looking for a good shot that was a great great effort right there trying to play that passing lane anticipating really well that's basic. He's open if he wants the shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Some room. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Picked off. Dump it inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Launches away. He is just lighting it up, dude. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. And now they'll bring it up. They work it back to the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. The Rams are up by 12. On the outside. Shooter spotting up on a three. Number 10 is feeling it right now. Brad, he's on fire. Shoots. He gets the bucket to fall. He shoots from the elbow. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. You slow these guys up. They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. He intercepts it. He looks for the bomb. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The ball goes 
out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. They move it into the front court. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coach stressed to me this could happen. He told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not really rely on their one player. Right now, he's trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page. Perfectly executed. They scored seven in a row. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. In the post, tries for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. The Rams have a special roster, which I know you're in love with, Dick. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. On the dribble, gives it up. Too much. That's a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Makes the first shot. That's a 10-0 run. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon in the end. They might try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The man is off the charts, Brad. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Leans in. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Control and tempo in a game, distribute. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Steals the pass. Three second call. He got caught camping. Steals the pass. Gave it up. There's the fake. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Great defense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's dancing, baby. A dancer. I never knew that. I'm surprised. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the first shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's two at the charity strike. That's a 20-zip run. On the outside. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six man for no reason. Timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. He's got an open look for the shot. For two. I'll tell you, there's a great job getting close position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That was nice. The Wildcats are up by 10. Turnaround jumper. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Here's a double team for three. The sky is a limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on Ian Chili because he's beating him to the spot. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They work the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. For the deuce. Was that beautiful or what? With plays like that, you need instant replay. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of bounds. 
Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, altering shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact, Brad, on the defensive player. They work it around the perimeter. High post screen. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They work it around the perimeter. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. With a deep shot from outside. It sticks. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He intercepts it. Full court pass. Gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the bucket, he might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Taken away. They run it up into transition. Slaps the rock out of there. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Side. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Rams have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He buries the trifecta. The replay reveals the deal, baby. Well, now it's 
just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? They have to foul the rubber, stop the clock, Brad. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this point of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. And yet another foul. And we'll go to the free throw line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Up and in. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Let's get back out on the floor. The power forward takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. And they come with a double team to stop it. He goes to the free throw line. Everything looked good, but the result. Picks off the lazy pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed. It's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. He'll go to the line. Gets it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Looking for a good shot. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's circle. Villanova wins the game. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.